Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. The first step is turning on the router. Plug the power adapter into the router. Connect one end to an outlet and the other end to the router. Then press the power button. When the router powers on, the indicator will illuminate. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. The next step is to connect the cable from your internet service provider or from your modem to the internet port. This port is often marked as internet and typically has a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you now need to reset the router to its original factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the router's indicator lights to start flashing. Sometimes, this button is located inside the router casing to prevent accidental presses. Use a thin object to push it down. The router will reboot and all the settings will return to their factory defaults. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable from the router into a LAN port. The other end into the Ethernet card of your computer or laptop. Wait a few minutes for connection. Great, the router is connected to your computer. Now, you need to set it up. But first, if you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port, I'll show you another way to connect the router. All you need to do is connect the router with the power adapter and the cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If your router is new, the name of your Wi-Fi network will be the same as the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password that is printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, select the language for the router settings. I will leave the English language. To start the setup process, click this button. On this page, you need to enter whether there are any additional settings from your internet provider. You can find this information in the contract with your internet provider. If it is, select yes and enter the required information. 
but usually, there's no need to specify anything additional. So if you don't know what to choose, select No. Next, come up with a name and password for your Wi-Fi network. If you want to choose separate names and passwords for each router band, then check this box here. Save the settings by clicking this button. Now you need to come up with a new name and password for logging into the router's admin panel. Pay attention to the password requirements. To save the settings, click this button. On the next page, you can update the firmware if a new version is available. To update, click this button. The update process takes about three minutes. Please do not turn off the router during this time. After the update, click this button. Now wait a couple of minutes for the router settings to save. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it using the new name and password. Then log back into the router's admin panel. To ensure that all router settings are saved correctly, you need to reboot the router. To do this, click this button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully turns on. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it. Now check if the internet is working. Just Google something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, log back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the Mac clone button. Save the settings. And reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router fully turns on, check again if the internet is working. Just Google something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If you found my video helpful, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.